Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I'm going to coat my Camaro SS 1LE and I'm going to show you guys how you will never ever want to ceramic coat your Camaro again because you're going to want to start using this product right here. So for those who are familiar with my channel you will know that Underdog is an amazing product that I've used on all my vets. So today we're going to use it on the Camaro and there is a permanent link always in the description below where you guys can get a discount on this product and i will go ahead and pin it to the first comment as well but let's go ahead and get going i'm actually going to head to trevor's detail lab in frisco texas darren's going to meet me there so let's get going so today is going to be a do-it-yourself video because i want to show you guys how to make your camaro looks because I wanna show you guys how to make your Camaro look absolutely phenomenal and not spend a ton of money on unnecessary ceramic coating products. There's so many ceramic coat products out there and there, you know, there's some inexpensive ones, there's some very expensive ones. And of course, there's always a shop out there who's ready to charge you you know, $2,000 to do a paint correction and ceramic coat. So don't get me wrong, there's definitely a time and place for someone to go ahead and use a shop just like Trevor's shop. In fact, I would say that more than 50% of the time, it's probably best if you go ahead and use a shop like Trevor's shop. And if you're in the DFW area, there's no reason for you not to go ahead and call Trevor and use his shop. But there are those out there who are very skilled and can go ahead and do a paint correction yourself and do everything that's necessary like we're gonna show you today in this video to get your car prepped and ready to use this underdog product. And the good news is, is that this underdog product, not only, in my opinion, is better than any ceramic coating, but it also is very simple to install. So you guys will hear all of those details as soon as I get there and we get started. It's up in the rowdy wide body C6. Gotta love it. That is loud. Is that oh, pretty, pretty good entrance. Yeah, that might be a great entrance. <laughs> That's amazing. So Holy dogged. cow! Such an amazing car. Ah, so much fun. You ready to rock and roll? Yeah, man. Awesome. All right, so we are here, Trevor, Darren, and I, and we are going to get started on the Camaro. Uh, it's already perfectly clean. But we need to do one step real quick before we start paint correcting, and that is clay barring it. So we're going to use Trevor's fancy smancy clay bar mitts and a little spray. So we just, if they're just, uh, you can get them on Amazon. It's just, if you look up clay mitt, okay. it's a nice synthetic clay that's on this mitt. Um, it's not going to mar up the paint too much. So if you if you have a black car, red car, or anything like that, right. you're not going to see those kind of like haze left uh -huh. behind because it's nice and nice and thin. And then I've got the it's literally uh, water with a little bit of the baby soap. Oh, okay. We use the baby soap for putting on uh, clear bra and stuff like that. Yes. So it makes it really nice and slick. It bubbles up really nice. So it's just enough. You can use different like clay lubes and stuff like that, but this is just an easy thing to do at, at your house. Cool. So, and with that same step, you've done that just by with soap on the car too, right? Right. So, like if we were if we were washing this car again, it's already clean, clean when when Mike brought it. So, while we're in the wash, I spray like after we've washed it and used the mitt on it and everything like that, then I usually spray down the car with fresh soap again. Right. And then that's where we go over the whole car, the windows, and everything. But, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, it is super clean, but we're gonna do that step. And then after that, we will tape off all the rubber and plastics 
just that way when we're using our polisher that we won't hit anything that way because you will see like sometimes like cars from the dealership if you've uh, if they've touched anything that's matte or plastic yes. with with polish it'll leave a white haze behind so we just want to do the correct thing and tape everything off what we'll probably do on the hood since it's so big we'll just lift the hood up that way we don't have to worry about taping yeah. it off and stuff like that yeah because there is quite a bit of satin on this car yeah so and then after that we will be probably spraying it down with alcohol yeah so i've got a, a specific prep stuff that i like to use yep it's car pro eraser it just makes it really slick and really easy to apply that coating where it adheres to the surface really good what we'll do today since you're with me we'll we're probably going to coat the entire car right set a timer wait and then we're going to wipe it all off. All right, so there you have it. We will show you step by step this entire process, and it's actually very simple. So let's get going. All right, so we're done pretty much with the clay bar. Darren's still doing a little section here on the front. Yeah, it's real simple. Makes it a lot quicker, definitely. Yeah. So now we need to dry it off and then we will start doing the paint correction. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of impurities on that paint that I didn't even see until we started clay barring it because soap just doesn't get that stuff off. Well, and you think possibly your car might have sat for a period of time. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could it have did. been sitting there for two, three months. Yeah, I mean, it, it was. It was sitting in some lot for right. like three months. So. Right. so just like Trevor said, he's taping it off now to make sure that he doesn't touch anything and uh, get white stuff all over the, the black. All right, so Trevor, since my car looks pretty darn good already, what are we going to be using today to... So I use a product that's called Kosh Kimmy. It's a really high grade professional product. I think with the color that you have and the condition that it's in, it's perfect candidate for what's called a one step correction, which okay. is going to remove like the way we're going to use this product and the pad that we're going to use with it. You're, we're going to get about 80 to 90 percent correction. OK, um, and it's not going to leave. The reason why I like to use this combination is, is it's going to cut enough and it's gonna polish at the same time where we're not gonna see like any slight haze okay. left behind. If we use a little bit harder product that's got more cut, we might leave, and this is like, you know, looking at it with a light right. from four to six inches away where you're gonna see a little bit of haze, not like a buffer trail, like that you would see like, you know, pigtails or like a, you know, the actual right. massage of the, the buffer. It just leaves like a slight haze, so like, this is kind of like the perfect combination for a one step, especially with white. So it'll be super bright white. We'll go over each panel and I'll kind of show you how that you can, I can easily teach you how to do that. So like I can show you easily how, how much pressure to use, what speed you should use and how you should ma manipulate the machine. Cause when we're doing this step, you really want to let the machine do all the work where in the past times you would use like, a rotary style machine where you see the guys yeah. manipulating the machine. Well, these are called a, a DA, a dual action polisher, where the head is not spinning in one direction. It's going in all different directions where it's cutting and polishing at the same time. Nice. And these machines, um, these are Rupes machines. These are like the highest grade machines that you can get. They're designed where actually when they're cutting, they're actually releasing some of the product from the pad where it's self-cleaning the pad oh, as well. Nice. So like you can work faster. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of the name of the game. All right. Yeah. Well, awesome. Let's get going. Perfect. We didn't see before I, I put out three or four like pea-sized droplets. We sure. don't want to go really anything bigger than like a penny. Right. Even a penny size is way too much. Too much. Yeah. Um, what we're going to work is like basically the size of like two shoe boxes. So like this is a shoe box, this is a shoe box. You want to make sure that you dab down your product where the product is all flat on there, where if you have these big globs of it, when this head hits it, it's going to sling it everywhere. So a little bit of cord stuff is you always want to drape it over your shoulder. That way, if you're working against the car, it's not right. rubbing up rubbing against the, the car. car. Yeah, yeah. 
Make sure that you're not you're wearing shorts or something like that, not a belt where you're rubbing up against the car. Um, so let the machine sit on the car, and this is where you're going to let the machine do the work. Two to three pounds of pressure with your hand on top. We always want to make sure that the head is nice and flat, where if it's up like this with these machines, it's not going to oscillate as much. It's not going to cut as much. So I like to put it on a three or a four speed. You're letting the, the pad cut at like an inch a second. Right? So it's like one second, one inch. And I'm not putting down a whole lot of pressure. You're just letting the machine do all the work. Then you're just going to overlap yourself on where you went over that area. Then you're going to move over to the next shoebox area. And you're just constantly kind of overlapping yourself. That's it. Sweet. And so like what I will say, like what some guys get worried about is like, well, what if I burn through the clear coat? What if I burn the paint? Right. The only time that you're going to do that is if you are cooking way too hardcore. Like even on this, this hard edge right here, we're not going to hang out on this edge. Right. We're going to hang out on this flat part where the, the side of the pad is barely hitting that edge. We're not just going to sit <laughs> there on it like that. Now, if you're doing that, even still, it's going to take a lot of pressure and a lot of heat to be able to burn through this clear coat. Because this, this clear coat is five mils thick. Okay. It's not like... So don't be scared about doing this step. You can easily do this stuff at your house. So don't, cool. be, don't be too scared of doing it. So you guys can see the light haze that he talked about. So guys, check out how swirled this factory paint is. It's unbelievable. So we'll show you what that looks like after Trevor is done paint correcting it. Yeah, and just think about it, like, since you've owned this, I mean, you picked it up day one. Right. They might have maybe washed it one time for oh, the car wash or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so, like, did. yeah. That's... And I can't see that when I'm washing that in my garage. Right, and so, like, see it. if this is on white... Yeah. Think of what all the darker colors are. Gonna right, and, and this is like why I like, I go through a discovery process with the client is like, okay, like, so you just want to coat this. Right. We're, you're okay with the way this is going to look. And like the prep that we just did, it just magnified this even oh, yeah. more. Yeah. So like you put the coating on the car. So like, I know you guys are like adamant about just wanting to get the coating on there, but like you're locking this in. Right. So yeah. That's why this is important or why you would want to use a professional detail shop in your area. And this is one thing that you guys can look for too. Like tonight when you go out to dinner, when you're pulling up, when you're pulling up behind the car in front of you, look at this area right here yeah. on the back of the car. With the, when your headlights are hitting it, I guarantee oh, yeah, you'll you see will see that. these yeah. marks. Yep. And then the next time you go to a car show, <laughs> your eyes are trained now that just look at everybody that's wiping down their car. You're gonna be putting those kind of marks on there. Yeah. It's crazy. But we'll get it all out and show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so this is just like, this is a one pass. This is just one pass with the same product, same same compound. Um, but this would be okay. I mean, like, I don't like leaving it this way, but this would be 70 to 80%, you know, 
defect free. There's still these teeny tiny little ones, but again, this is like a sunlight. So it's, yeah. we're a foot away, but this is acceptable compared to what we started with. Jeez, it's insane. You know, it's pretty night and day different. Oh yeah. But you just have to think like, we already think that the white is brilliant white. Right. Now that we're, cause the, the, the light is refracting off of these small little yeah, imperfections. Yeah. So now that when we get it like this, it's gonna look like glass. Yeah. So it's a, it looks, it's gonna look awesome. Awesome. All right, so we have done all of the paint correction and this camera's probably not gonna do it justice, but this thing is shiny, shiny. You can kind of see with the reflection on there, but wow. <laughs> it's so ridiculously shiny. So now we are going to use a product, is it, alcohol and water or what do you use it's basically an alcohol and water it's just a little i mean i guess car pros is a little bit different but um here i can actually show you the jug so it's car pro eraser oh yeah okay so it just it, this is a really good step to use like because whatever residual residue you have left over right sometimes when you hit some of that with the coating it just kind of makes it cloudy yeah uh, makes it a little bit harder to wipe off the reason why I like to use this over alcohol and water is like this, it kind of leaves like this slickness. Okay. Where like when you apply, it's like it's butter easier. wiping off. Okay. So cool. it just makes it really easy. Nice. Underdog, as we know, is already really easy to wipe oh, yeah. off, but yeah, yeah. it just makes it like it's completely effortless. So now we're going to apply the Underdog product, which I always have said, and I stick to it. I like it better than ceramic coating because of the flash time, number one, uh, you can let it flash for 10 minutes. Ceramic coating is about a minute at the most. All right, so we've wiped the whole thing down and now we are ready for the underdog coating. Here go. There it is, underdog pros. Got our pad and then um, I've got, I use three towels. So it's just a regular microfiber towel and then I use the underdog, uh, really plush, uh, -huh. uh 500, um, for the second and third wipe. But I use a microfiber towel for the first wipe, just because it's going to remove the bulk of it. Right. Second one is to refine it. Third one is just that finishing wipe. Yes. And then what you're going to see me do is what's kind of different than everybody else is like, we're going to coat the entire car, right? Just because we have a long, uh, flash time with it. So, and this is kind of one big thing I wanted to go over with y'all is like, you should not have to use this entire bottle on one car. Oh, right. Like you, yeah. you should be able to do at least three or four of this size car with this little 30 mil okay. bottle. So that first apply is pretty generous amount. Go ahead and fold it. See how it's all on there. Maybe give it like one little more little spritz. And then you can just kind of pick your area. What I would say on cars like this, you start on the top because you don't want to start on the door and right. then you're resting against it and everything right. like that. So you can just kind of make your first kind of big wipe on there. And you're just making nice overlapping straight lines. And just make sure you kind of get your edges. As you go over to the other side, you're just going to make one little stream. Big wipe on there.
All right, guys, it is all coated. It is all complete. Uh, hopefully you guys can tell how shiny this thing is. I'll do some drone work with it and uh, it'll show it a lot better, but this thing is ridiculously shiny, except for the satin pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you are interested in this product, like I showed in the very beginning, this is it right here, Underdog, and they sell a lot more than just the coating, then you need to go to either my website, which is thebrinkofspeed.com, scroll down, you can click on Underdog from there, or just getunderdog.com. And uh, Brink of Speed is a 15% off code. So when you go to checkout and it says, do you have a coupon code, just enter Brink of Speed and you get your 15% off. Now, and you'll have to put up, we've showed this once before, but I think it's it really shows how the product works. I did a 45 day test in the environment here in Texas in both the sun, the rain, uh, raw carbon still, two pieces, uncoated versus coated. And Mike can show a picture of the two side by side. Yes. It just says, that says everything you need to know. Yep. So what this is gonna do is a couple of things. Obviously it's gonna make the paint super shiny, but the reason why I love underdog coating so much is because when you go to wash your car, it makes it so much easier, so much simpler to wash, and it makes it so much simpler to dry, especially if you use any kind of forced induction drying, like a uh, leaf either blower. a leaf blower or something like I have, which is a master blaster. When you go to blow on this thing, and it's not coated, the water sticks to it. Well, but after it's coated, it just flies off. Same goes when you do this to your like, daily driver car, right? You're pulling into your garage. Most of the water's already off it. Yeah. It just it came off as you're coming in. Your windshield, Yeah. you won't even have to use your wipers in, in low rain environments. The water will literally just come right off yes, of it. Yes, exactly. So. So that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. You need to real quick check out uh, NR Demon, his uh, Instagram. Make sure and click on that. And then uh, the Detail Lab, but also The Gray Vets, both YouTube channels and Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, check out them all. I'll put all the links in the description. Thank you so much, Trevor and Darren, for all your help. The car looks amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next episode.